Uh, so today let's look at a question. I'm going back to uh, traversing. So I want to calculate this traversing uh, by use of bondage method, but uh, by use of the uh, traversing uh, bearing sheet. So this question is a question paper for uh, diploma in building and diploma in civil, uh, diploma in mechanical, a diploma in architect, uh, July series 2019. Uh, so you can download it from any website that you want. Uh, so let's go directly to the question. So uh, this is question number eight, the last question. And in this question, uh, yeah, that is 20 marks. So let's go ahead. So table three shows values reduced from a traverse observation. Compute the final coordinates of point uh, P1, P2, P3, and P4. Given the coordinates of T, uh, so that's the coordinate of T. Uh, so for the nothing, that is uh, 8,372.98 meters. And for the easting, 3,854.28 meters. Uh, so by use of bondage method uh, to adjust the coordinates. So here is a 20 mark full question. So when you go to this table, uh, we observed. So here we have been given the line, the distances, and the bearings. So from this table, uh, that's where our calculation is going to, uh, to first be obtained in. So here from T1 to uh, P1, so we are moving in a, in a clockwise direction. So from T1 to P1, uh, P, P2 to P to P3, P3 to P4, P4 to T1. So T1, that is our, our last point. So here the distances have been given and the uh, bearings also have been given. So we go here to our notes. Uh, so this is bondage rule. So by this rule, the total error in latitude or departure distributed in proportion to length of the traverse leg. So this is the most common method used in traverse adjustment. So here our first formula, so correction in latitude of any side, so that will be equal to length of that side over perimeter of the traverse times total error in latitude. And our second formula there is Correction in latitude of any side will be the length of that side over the perimeter uh, times total error. Uh, but before we find uh, our total, so here we go back uh, and we need to find the misclosures. So by the computation of latitude and departure uh, will be shown here. So our values will be um uh, so our question there as you can see so here we have formulas uh, for computation of latitudes and departure so these are the formulas i'm going to use uh, in order for me to calculate um, where i want my answers to be so let me go directly to my table so this is a table that I have drawn. So the table contains, uh, so those are six columns. The first column we have, uh, so the first column here, so that is the line and distance column. Then our second column, so here we have partial coordinates. And in this partial coordinates, we have the northing and the eastings. Uh, and in our fourth column here we have stations and in our last two columns here we have the northings and the eastings so here is just a little uh, presentation of my uh, computation using a table that is in a format of a bearing sheet so here in our table the first column we have uh, our 
coordinates that we have been given they are in our um, calculation so in the section for the lines here we'll have from t1 to p1 uh, here we have our coordinates given in the bearings so those are our coordinates there and in our next here are the last we have the distances obtained from our question so by use of these three uh, values given in the uh, neck paper we can use that value to obtain our partial coordinates so here our partial coordinates they are represented in the latitude and the departure so in the latitude column uh, representing the uh, nothings so in our latitude column here representing the nothings we'll use a cos then in the departure representing the eastings we'll use a sign uh, so here, here in our first table uh, we go ahead and we calculate so from t1 to p1 uh, using our calculators so we input the value that we have in our table so that is the distance the distance times sin uh, 100 uh, degrees uh, 15 minutes 20 seconds uh, by inputting the value in the calculator our answer will be uh, 152.52 meters so that is the value we are going to write in the column for the eastings here as you can see there so that is the value that we are going to write there then we go again so uh, we repeat the same so 155 times cos uh, this will be cos 100 degrees 15 minutes and 20 seconds uh, we do the same so our answer so we are calculating the answer for the latitude so the section for the latitude there and our answer will have a negative so our answer uh, will have already so it will come automatically in the calculator so our answer will be a negative and by the look of this table here the table for computation so in our in our second quadrant so our second quadrant here southeast uh, you, uh, the representation so here the representation as you can see the formula there we have a negative l cos theta so it has already proven to us uh, our answer is a little bit correct so that will be negative l cos theta so you can prove that in the table that you have seen here so uh, our answer will be negative 27.60 and that answer you come again and you write it in the column for the nothings so we go again to our next point so from p1 to p2 we have been given the coordinate so we have been given the coordinate here so the coordinate and the bearings so sorry so those are the bearings so the bearing will be 40 degrees uh 41 uh, minutes 20 seconds you write it there then our final we have been given the distance so our distance will be 200 you do the same you go back so in point p1 to p2 so that will be uh 200 times sin 40 41 20 uh, our answer will have so our answer will be a positive 130 proven in the in the table as you can see in the table here so in this table so in our first quadrant our, both our latitude and departure will be in positive so they will be given in positive so we do the same for the uh, latitude and when you do for the latitude so our value here so my value there so for the latitude 
so that will be 200 uh, so that will be 200 times cos 40 degrees 41 uh, minutes 20 seconds and my answer will be a positive uh, proven in that table there so those two values will be written so for the departure uh, will be written in the easting column there our value will be there then for the nothing our value will be in the uh, the section for the nothing there so here we do the same so we move to our point so in p2 to p3 we do the same so we just uh, so in latitude and in departure so in latitude we use a so latitude represented by the nothing we use a cos then in easting use a sign so i'm sure you are familiar with everything here that i've done so this table only changes by the representation of it so here we'll have a so the length the length given by the so the length times the cos angle so in departure then oh so the departure will be the length sine angle then in the latitude we'll have a length sine so sine theta so sine so the sine will be represented by the the value that we have here and the value that we have here uh so that will be 10 degrees 15 minutes 20 seconds uh, so that will be the angle uh, our length will be 249 so we do the same and we find our answer for the nothing and for the eastings so this i'm sure you are familiar with everything that we are doing here so by the the formulas uh seen here you can use to calculate all the values so here we, you will do the same up to the end so by the concept that you have gotten from the first you can use it to do every departure and latitude uh, until the end uh, and get the representation of those values in nothing on the eastings uh, having finished that you go back uh, you go back to our formula that we had here so our formula uh, for the bondage rule so the formula the first formula so we had to have uh, so the length of that side of a uh, perimeter of the traverse then it's the total error in latitude and the same for the departure so here we have the length of those sides so i need to calculate the perimeter of the traverse then i need also to find the total error in the latitudes and the total error in the departures so we go here to our question so we have been given the distances so we go ahead and we calculate the total of all these distances so by use of your calculator you calculate the total of those distances and having calculated that uh, your total will be 1239 meters so that will be the perimeter represented in our formula down there then again we go back to our starting point so i need to find the partial so i need to find the total uh, error uh, from the partial coordinates because that is the thing that i need to use so here we have the total error in the latitude and the total error in the departures so i want to calculate uh, those total errors represented in that uh, question there and by the look of this question we have only been given the coordinate of one point so having been given the coordinate of t i uh, will use it later so here it will not mostly uh, play a bigger role as compared to a, a, a computation or a calculation that we have already been given two coordinates so those two coordinates will help us in our um, calculation of the total error but here in this case we only have one coordinate in the question so that coordinate will only use it later 
uh, in finding the final coordinates so we come here and we start uh, so we begin uh, with our starting so here in our starting uh, you come to the calculator uh, in the calculator uh, you have a negative so that will be a negative uh, two twenty seven point six zero. So that is negative twenty seven point six zero. Uh, you add that to a positive one fifty. So one fifty one point six five. Uh, you add. So here we are adding all our. So here we are adding the values that we have there. So all our nothings. So the partial coordinates for the nothing. So you add all the partial coordinates for the nothing in order for you to find the the error. So after having done that, so by the use of your calculator, uh, our final answer will be a positive zero point four degrees. So that will be the uh, total error in the latitude, but that will not be the correction. So in order for us to correct the total error in the latitude, so here we'll have a 0 0.4. In order for us to correct, so we need to correct and remove all the correction. So we had a, a positive 0 0.4. So in order for it to become a 0, so in order for us to correct that to be a 0, uh, we'll have to subtract the same value. So here in other terms you can change the value or you can go directly. Uh, so in order for us to have a zero, so a correction, an error of zero, I will have to subtract the same value. So when you subtract the same value, so our correction will be a negative 0 0.4. Uh, we go ahead uh, to the coordinates for the eastings. We do the same. So we add the coordinates for the eastings. Uh, as you can see there, so we add all the coordinates that we had gotten for the eastings. So those are our coordinates. So using your calculator, so where we have a negative, make sure you put the negative in, and where we have a positive, it remains the same. After having done that, uh, our answer, uh, so our final answer becomes a negative zero point. Uh, so the, our final answer will be a negative 0 0.28 so that will be our answer so that will be the error and in order for us to correct that error uh, we'll have to correct that error to be uh, 0 so in order for us to correct we'll add the same so if we add the same our answer will be a 0 so in other terms you change the sign if you change the sign, it will correct. So in our correction, we'll apply we'll apply the uh, positive, uh, the positive that will be there. So when you correct the positive, uh, that will apply. So having done that, so in our correction, uh, we go back to the formula that we had earlier here. So correction in the uh, latitude of any side. So correction in latitude of any side will be the length of that side over the perimeter of the traverse times the total error in latitude. Uh, we go back here. So we start with the first point that we have here. So uh, the length of that side, so the length there we have 155 and over the perimeter of the traverse our perimeter we had gotten the addition so our perimeter the total so will be one uh 129 so that that will be 1239 meters and um, then times the total error in the latitude so here our total error in the latitude uh, our correction we apply it with a negative 0 0.4 so having done that, so your answer will be uh, zero. Uh, that will be zero point zero five. So you multiply. So the length of that side 
over the perimeter times the total length of the uh, latitude that we have been given here. Uh, so having done that, so you repeat the same to the other. So you do, you can, you can either do for the uh, the correction for the uh, nothing. And if you see that this is somehow uh, difficult, you can do both. So you can do th for the easting and you can do for the nothing. So the formula for the eastings uh, only changes in the side where we have the total error in the departure. So the formulas they are the same. So correction the departure side. So the length of that side of the perimeter of the traverse times the total error in uh, departure. So by the look of that question, so here our uh, length of that side that is 200. So that will be 200 over the total that we have here below. So the total that is uh, 1239. So 1239 times our, so times our um, correction. And here our correction down there, we had a negative 0 0.4. So times negative 0 0.4. So if you input that value in your calculator, your answer will be a negative uh, 0 0.06. You do the same. So that will be the length of that side over the total that we have there below times the correction. The correction is the same. So yes, the only thing that is changing in the nothing is the uh, length of that side. So you do. Uh, for the values that we have until the end so you do the same to the eastings so the formula is the same so you do the same to the eastings uh, by applying the correction that we have there uh, down there so that will be the length of either that side uh, over the total that is the perimeter uh, times the correction and you will have gotten all your values so when you get your values, you write them there, then you circle them uh, because that is the uh, value that you're going to use in order to apply and to find our final uh, final corrections. So I go ahead in the fourth column, I write the stations. So here our station will be T. So in our station T, uh, we'll be applying the uh, correction, the correction in the nothing and the eastings. So having gotten your uh, correction then the in the partial coordinates so you go back to the partial coordinate that we had earlier so that is a negative negative 27.6 so this negative 27.6 minus uh, 0 minus 0 so minus 0 here our value so minus 0 0.05 and that answer you write it here in this uh, correction and the section where we have our column then we move to the eastings so in the eastings we had a partial coordinate of uh, here we have a partial coordinates of uh, so this will be 152.52 uh, plus 0 0.04 the value that we had corrected there in the correction and that value will write it here in the cor corrected uh, section for the eastings so when you do the same so you do uh, this will be done to every uh, column so the partial coordinate that we had been given plus the uh, correction that we have done here then you will get your values so you do the same to every value that we have and you write the values here so our values will be written here so we go back to our starting so in this question we have been told so the coordinates for the point t we have been given the final coordinates so these are the coordinates that have been given so those are the correct coordinates for the values there so we use these values in order for us to get the adjacent so here we come and we write the values uh, given there so we start from station t1 so in t1 uh, you write the 
uh, coordinates given in the question so here our coordinates uh, so we he, we had uh, one, 9372 and uh, 80 uh, uh, 9.8 uh, by adding it to a negative uh, 27.56 uh, will get the coordinates for the point which is next so for point p our value will be gotten so we do the same to the east team. so this is uh, 3854 point uh, 28 uh, plus 152.56 uh, by adding it, we'll get our value for the easting in P. Then we do the same. So when you get our value for the easting in P, uh, we use the value that we have there. So we add the value and we'll get our coordinates for the next point. So here we do every... until we get the coordinates for all these other points. So by proving it, so by going back to T, uh, our coordinates will have been proven. So our correction here will be proven to be uh, zero uh, error. So you can check the more example that I had done earlier and I had explained too. So this is just an example that I've done, but by use of a uh, bearing sheet, so you can be asked something like that or even you can go ahead and use the the other um, uh, table that we had so you can use the tables uh, taught to you uh, by your uh, trainers and the table will give you uh, the value will not change so the table will be the same uh, the values will not even change a little bit so the table there will help you in your uh, calculation. So that will be all. Um, the PDF will be available uh, in order for you to have uh, something that you can follow. You can print it.